Okay. Good morning, everyone. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. We'll start from fingertips. Just flick your nails. You may have some fingers that are tight. Okay. Let's just try this pinky finger. Yeah, only pinky finger. Bend and flick. Yeah, they're pretty tight. That's very small joint. Good, very good. Now, fourth, fourth fingers. Yeah, so only this one. This finger. Okay, now middle finger. Yeah, push the nail. Now index finger. Now thumb. Push your thumb. Yes, that's it. So make sure you bend the fast joint and push. Okay, and shake your hands. Interest your fingers, massage between knuckles. And stretch between fingers. So this way is very easy to stretch. It's a this likely a dominant side. So from here, we're going to change. Can you change thumbs, thumbs upside down? Every finger you change. So right thumb is top, now left thumb is top. You change. Change your position. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you. So, so you change every finger. Too many fingers. Yeah, too, too many fingers. <laughs> Oops, where this goes? Oh, yeah, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. See? You feel a little bit different. Yeah, and change again. Every finger change, so you have to move index. The index finger. Oh my. Every finger. <laughs> Did you get it? Okay, every fingers. Good, yeah, very good, yeah. This is, we have to balance our brain. And change. That's it, that's it, yeah. One by one. Good. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. They're having. Oh, so now we all got. Okay, that's good. Continue this. Okay. Little bit separation. Now it's getting used to. Okay. Always one side is kind of feel strange, but. This is a really good to balance your brain. Okay, the action will train your brain. Yeah, it's getting even, left and right side, but still not even. Okay, now shake your hands. Okay, and wrist rotation. Close your elbows and focus on your wrist. Feel the strength from your arm and relax your wrist. 
Okay, reverse other way. With wrist rotation, we'll move to neck stretch. Let's put, okay, arm on the side. Close your hands, only one hand. Wrist rotation. Keep your arm down. Yeah, only one arm. We're going to stretch this neck. Continue wrist rotation. Now tilt your head. Neck stretch. Keep this ear and the shoulder the same line. Okay. Reverse, other way, wrist rotation. And come back. Let's change the other fist, wrist rotation. And we're going to stretch this neck, opening this side. Reverse other way. Okay, cross your arms in front and open. Front cross, open and reaching back. Front. Open. Yeah, thumbs out. One more. And let's massage this sternum, breastbone. So you have a long piece of bone here from collarbone between ribs. So massage, massage this bone right against your bone, massage. So your ribs are attached to this bone. The beginning of ribs are actually cartilage. And those cartilage can be pretty tight. And it does restrict your shoulder mobility. <clears throat> so massage here. Now sideways. You start to open this a little bit. Take deep breath in, inhale. Okay, exhale. Okay, breathe in. And out. Okay, move those cartridge. Breathe in. Now, let's go back to crossed arms and open. Yeah, now, you can reach back a little bit more because you have a flexibility here. You're breathing better. Two more each way. Okay. Last one. Okay, so your right hand on the shoulder okay. and the shoulder roll back. Open your armpit right here and roll back. Yeah. Elbow to the ceiling. Roll back. From your armpit, you can stretch around the rib cage. And actually, let's put the other hand around the rib cage and make just sure something moving around your rib cage. Inhale up. Exhale down. Are you stretching here? Do you feel stretch? Yeah. But well, you can move your rib cage a little bit forward and back. Push yourself forward, back. Now switch your arm. So we have a muscles around the rib cage and they can be pretty tight. 
by relaxing those muscles, we can absorb lots of oxygen. You can deepen your <coughs> breathing. Two more times. <coughs> Last one. Okay, shake your arms. Now open your legs, keep your legs pretty strong, side to side. Instead of just to shake, move your arms, I want to move from your spine. Yeah, little twist. Now starting to massage your hip joints. So enjoy this hip joint movement. You gain the motion of hip joint by opening your legs a little bit more, just a little bit, good. Okay, hands on your thighs. Moving from hip joints, breathe out, take deep breath in. Exhale, push yourself up, okay, from side of you. Get okay, inhale, feeling your lungs, expanding your rib cage. Exhale, up. One more bend. Breathe in. And out. Okay, let's move. Okay, one knee up and down, up and down. Kicking your foot far away, far away, very far away. Up and down. Also, we are massaging under your seat, okay? We have a seat bone under your butt. Around the seat bone can be pretty tight. Yeah. Let's do two more. Keep this leg straight and shake, shake, shake. Put your hand around the pelvis, both hands. You gain this motion by feeling your hand. Okay, moving from hip joint and inside the pelvis, a little bit more. Okay, step in, hands front of leg, from hip joint, inhale. Feel the openness from one side. Exhale up. Now switch your leg towards the chest, far away. Inhale. You can hold on a chair if you like. Exhale. Take deep breath in. Out. Feeling your lungs. Two more times, up and down. Last one, okay? And wave your foot as much as you can. Okay. Keep your toes up. Now bring your hands around the pelvis or hip joint. Then right away, you gain this motion, okay? Foot side. Could you just keep the little bit more? Yeah. Okay, shake your foot. We always feel secure by feeling our hands, okay? Then you gain the mobility of joint. Yeah, same side with foot. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's do a Tai Chi movement. Okay, keep your back straight. Both arms up and down. Imagine you have an elastic band from your toes, from toes to the fingertips, stretching the elastic band, gently release. This is really good for rotated calf. Inhale up. But use the other imagination, water, water fountain from the ground the water is pushing your arms. 
And we don't feel like lifting arms. Okay, water. Two more times. Breathe in and out. Last one. Open arms to the side. And creating the energy ball. Open arms again. Switch your arms upside down. Opening from between chest from the sternum. Let's use the imagination of water again. Your arms are floating on the surface of water. And close. Breathe in. Yeah, soft wrist, soft fingertips. Let's do one more. Okay. This lower arm, this lower arm, front of the chest. Push the other arm back. Okay. From front of the chest, holding the ball from the top. Okay. And from under, front of the chest, the other arm is back. Okay. Keep this arm on the top, energy ball. From under, forward, simply the other arm opposite way. From front to the top, okay, from under, reaching forward. Basically front and back, reaching back, back to the energy ball, open, opening from your heart, center, yeah, adding a step, yeah, same side, front, step in, switch your leg, relax your arms as much as you can, inhale, exhale. Exactly same movement will continue. Just step out to the side a little bit. And your hand go the same direction with your foot. Come back to center, energy ball. Open the leg about 45 degrees. And connect your fingers and toes with the elastic band together. Corner, come back to center, energy board, sky and earth. Stretching inside of our arms, come back to the energy board. This is a good chance to strengthen your spine, straight back. Push your feet, push your feet. You can straight more back. Exhale, open. Feeling both fingertips. Okay. Adding leg lift. See, you push your hand and lift your foot. Plus and minus, that's the Tai Chi balance. Push your arm, lift your leg. You feel stronger every time. Catch your breath, inhale, exhale. Now elastic band between hands. Yeah. Between hands, really stretching the elastic band. Gently release. Exhale. The option, you can look up the fingertips. 
and come back. Okay, really opening frontal body. Creating a space between each vertebra, which will help your lower back pain and neck shoulder tightness. Last one. Okay. Now touch your elbow. It's like a holding a basket. Touch your elbow. Okay. This long arm, you have a baseball. Throw the baseball straight in front of, front of you. The other arm picking up the basket, maybe flower basket. Then baseball, straight forward. Okay, go under, side, then the elbow. This point we use upper back, then throw. Can you lift this knee up? Step out. This time, opposite arm and opposite leg, front. Very nice. Picking up the basket, opposite knee, from baseball, and throw. Opposite knee up. Push. Yeah. Nice and slow. Lift your knee, bend your elbow. Front. See, opposite leg and opposite arm. Very nice. One more each side. Really massaging shoulders. Last one. Okay, so now same leg and same hand out. Pretend you have a like a kind of a instrument, like a harp or a guitar. Okay. Switch other side out. Now between you have a energy ball goes around. Yeah, left side. Step in, arms, legs even, then shift. Okay, arms and legs even, then shift. Move your hands far away from your face, back towards your nose. Inhale down, exhale up. Now let's hold this side, keep your arms moving, like spinning the wheel, spinning the wheel. Relax your wrist. Now let's change the leg. Okay, switch other side. Keep spinning the wheel. Three more. Yeah, far away and towards your nose. Last one. Okay, open your arms. Again, strong legs. It doesn't look like strong legs, but you feel it. Hands together. Feel the space around your arms, around your body. Exhale. Okay, 
one more. Take deep breath in. Okay. Last one. Again, massage your breastbone. And massage around your neck from back to front. Gently stroke. And you can look side to side. Okay, and gently stroke your arm. Squeeze your fingertips and let go. Gently squeeze the fingertips. Okay, boosting blood circulation. Squeeze, let go. Okay, one more each. Okay, last one. Okay, and massage front of knees. Dwelling knee massage, tap your toes. Yeah, keep moving your toes. Okay, open toes. Okay, let's massage behind the knee joint. Well, actually, just to pick one knee. Behind the knee joint, try to separate from center. Center of knee, separate, left and right side. Yeah. This massage is really good for knees. Okay, now switch your leg. Okay, now keep holding from behind the knee joint. Point this toes, point as much as you can, and shake, shake, shake. This part, front of the ankle, Stretching front of ankle really improve flexibility. Okay, entire body. Yeah. So from here, if it's possible, you can move this foot back. If it, if it's possible. If not, this is fine. Maybe open. Then you can stretch more. You feel better flexibility this side, so let's check it out. Step in, okay, inhale up. Hands together and move your hands back. Less tension this shoulder, more tension the other shoulder. So it's very flexible by shaking foot, okay. Now pick up the other knee, point your toes, and shake, shake, shake. Yeah, right here. Because always we are bending the front of the ankle like a 90 degrees all day long. Even we are sitting, okay, flexing all day long. So they, they are very tight. So if you can, toes back and shake, shake, shake. You can open more, front of ankle. And probably you moved some tension from this side, side of ribcage and shoulders. Take deep breath in up. Okay, so hands together. Okay, move your arms back a little bit, maybe quarter inch. Better mobility, yeah, good. Okay, and shake it out. Shoulder roll back. Yeah, moving scapula, very good. Good job, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Yeah.